Hey everyone, and welcome to The Wealth Pulse. Today, we want to talk about something that we know a lot of you have been thinking about, and that's starting your own blog and monetizing your passion. Now, I know the thought of starting a blog can be overwhelming, but trust me, it's not as difficult as you might think, and the benefits of having your own blog are numerous. Not only can it be a great way to express yourself and share your knowledge and expertise, but it can also be a lucrative way to make money from your passion. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to start a successful blog and monetize it. We'll talk about finding your niche, setting up your blog, creating quality content, building an audience, and monetizing your blog. So whether you're a hobbyist, a creative, or a professional, starting a blog and monetizing your passion can be a great way to share your ideas and make money doing it. So, grab a notebook and pen, and let's get started. When it comes to starting a blog, finding your niche is essential. Not only does it help you attract a more engaged audience, but it also allows you to establish yourself as an authority in your field. Instead of trying to cover a wide range of topics that might not be of interest to anyone, focusing on a specific area allows you to cater to a more targeted audience and stand out from the crowd. So, how do you go about finding your niche? One of the best ways is to start by considering your interest and expertise. What are you passionate about? What do you know a lot about? These are great starting points for figuring out what your niche should be. Another way to identify your niche is to conduct market research. Look at what other bloggers are writing about and see if there are any gaps in the market that you could fill. Additionally, you can look at what topics are currently trending and see if they align with your interest and expertise. Once you have a general idea of what your niche might be, start narrowing it down. The more specific you can get, the better. For example, instead of just writing about travel, you might want to focus on budget travel or solo female travel. When it comes to profitability, certain niches tend to be more profitable than others. Niches such as personal finance, health, and technology tend to be popular with advertisers which means there's more potential for making money. However, it's important to remember that profitability should not be the only factor in choosing a niche. If you're not passionate about the topic, it's unlikely that you'll be able to maintain a consistent blogging schedule and your blog will not be successful. In short, finding your niche is crucial for the success of your blog. It allows you to attract a more engaged audience and establish yourself as an authority in your field. Start by considering your interest and expertise and then conduct market research and narrow down your niche. Remember that profitability is important, but passion and interest in the topic is what will ultimately drive the success of your blog. When it comes to creating a website to share your thoughts and ideas, there are many options available. Some of the most well-known choices include WordPress, Blogger, and Squarespace. Each one has its own set of pros and cons, so it's important to think about what you want and need before making a decision. For example, WordPress is a powerful and flexible platform that is perfect for those who want a lot of control over how their website looks and functions. It has a lot of customization options, and there are many themes and add-ons to choose from. However, it can be more difficult to set up and requires some technical knowledge. Blogger is a more user-friendly option that is great for beginners. It's easy to use and customize, and it's free. However, it doesn't offer as many design and functionality options as some other platforms. Squarespace is ideal for those who want a beautiful website without having to do a lot of coding or setup. It has a wide range of templates and features, but it's not as flexible as WordPress and can be more expensive. If you decide to use WordPress, you can follow these steps to set up your blog. If you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all our future videos. By subscribing, you'll be supporting our channel and helping us create even more great content. Now back to our topic. 1. Choose a hosting provider like Bluehost or HostGator and purchase a hosting plan. Next. Install WordPress on your hosting account. Number three, choose a theme and customize it to suit your needs. Number four, install important add-ons like Yoast SEO 
and Acusmet. Fifth is create pages and post and configure your website settings. And finally, launch your website and start creating content. Keep in mind that setting up a blog takes time and effort, but it's worth it in the long run. Choosing the right platform and investing the time to set it up correctly will help ensure the success of your blog. Creating high-quality content is essential for the success of your blog. Not only does it help attract and retain an engaged audience, but it also establishes you as an authority in your niche. But coming up with ideas for content can be a challenge. That's why here are some tips for brainstorming and writing blog post ideas. First, look at what other bloggers in your niche are writing about and see if there's a gap in the market that you could fill. Next one is keep an idea notebook or document where you can jot down post ideas as they come to you. Third, use tools like Google Trends and BuzzSumo to see what topics are currently trending in your niche. Next is ask your audience what they would like to read about. And finally, write on the topics that you know best and you have passion for. This will reflect in your writing and will attract a loyal audience. Once you have a list of ideas, it's time to start writing. Here are some suggestions for improving the readability and SEO of your blog post. First, use headings and subheadings to break up your text and make it easy to read. Next one is use images, infographics, and other types of media to make your post more visually appealing and engaging. Third, optimize your post for SEO by including keywords in your post title, throughout the post, and in your meta tags. Fourth, use internal and external links to provide more contacts and add value to your post. And finally, use a conversational tone. This will make your post feel more relatable and engaging. Creating high-quality content is essential for the growth and success of your blog. It takes time and effort, but it is well worth it in the long run. By consistently producing engaging, informative, and compelling content, you'll be able to attract and retain an engaged audience and establish yourself as an authority in your niche. Having a strong audience is crucial for the success of your blog. The more people who are reading and engaging with your content, the more successful your blog will be. Here are some strategies to help you grow your audience. Number one, guest posts on other blogs in your niche. This will help expose your blog to a new audience and help you build relationships with other bloggers. Number two, utilize SEO techniques to improve your search engine rankings and make it easier for people to find your blog. Number three, Create valuable and shareable content. People are more likely to share and promote content that they find valuable and interesting. Number four, build an email list. Email is still one of the most effective ways to reach your audience and keep them engaged with your content. And finally, number five, use social media to promote your blog. Social media is a great way to reach a wider audience and promote your content. Social media can be an effective tool for promoting your blog. Here are some tips on how to use it. First, choose the social media platforms that your target audience is most active on and create a presence there. Number two, share your blog posts on your social media profiles and use relevant hashtags to increase visibility. Number three, engage with your followers and other users by responding to comments and messages. And number four, use paid promotion options like sponsored posts and ads to reach a wider audience. Building an email list is important for a number of reasons. One, email allows you to reach your audience directly and build a deeper connection with them. Second is that email is still one of the most effective ways to drive traffic to your blog. Third, email is an excellent way to promote new content and increase engagement. Now, when it comes to monetizing your blog, there are a variety of options available. Some popular methods include affiliate marketing, sponsored posts, advertising, and selling products or services. Each method has its own set of pros and cons, so it's important to consider your specific needs and goals before deciding which method to use. 
Affiliate marketing, for example, is a great way to earn money by promoting other people's products or services. It's easy to set up and manage, and it can be a great way to earn passive income. However, it does require a significant amount of traffic and engagement in order to be successful. Sponsored posts, on the other hand, involve writing posts that promote a specific product or services in exchange for payment. This can be a great way to earn money, but it's important to disclose any sponsored content to your audience. Advertising is another popular monetization method, and it can be a great way to earn money with a blog. You can place ads on your blog, such as Google Ads and Sponsored Ads, and earn revenue based on the number of clicks or impressions. Selling products or services is another great way to monetize your blog. This can include digital products like ebooks, courses, or coaching services, or physical products like clothing or accessories. This can be a great way to earn money from your blog, but it does require more effort to create and promote your products. If you decide to use affiliate marketing as a monetization method, you can follow these step by step instructions to implement it. Number one, Choose a reputable affiliate program to join, like Amazon Associates. Number two, find products or services that align with your blog's niche and audience. Number three, include affiliate links in your blog posts where relevant. Number four, continuously monitor your affiliate links and adjust accordingly. And finally, number five, always disclose affiliate links to your audience. In conclusion, Starting a blog is a fantastic opportunity to share your expertise and passion with the world. In this video, we have discussed the key steps involved in starting a blog, including finding your niche, setting up your blog, creating high-quality content, building an engaged audience, and monetizing your blog. To reiterate, it's essential to find a niche that aligns with your interest and expertise. Choose a platform that fits your needs and budget, Consistently produce engaging and informative content. Actively promote your content and build an email list. And select the monetization methods that aligns with your goals and audience. Starting a blog can be a significant undertaking, but it can also be an incredibly fulfilling experience. I encourage you to take action and start your own blog today. If you're still unsure of where to begin or need additional support, there are many resources available to help you get started and monetize your passion. Websites such as Blogging Wizard, Pro Blogger, and Smart Blogger provide valuable information on how to start and monetize a blog. And there are also many online communities and forums where you can connect with other bloggers and get support and advice. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more valuable wealth creation strategies. See you on the next one.